Name? King, part of one. King, King. No, I'm sorry, I don't show that reservation. Oh, yeah? Well, let me show you something, fruitcake. Ah! Heads up, chowhounds. Drop your forks and prepare to cower before the uncanny condiment king. Who is that? Some kind of nutcase. Just ignore him. I'm a little call security. Hey, hey! I don't believe this! I say cower, and you're still eating? Well, all right then. <laughs> now see here, you. Hot sauce. <laughs> Anyone else want to be a hero? Then take out your wallets, cash, and jewels, and toss them here on the table. Come on, right now. Disturbance reported at the top of the Crown restaurant. Suspect is a male costumed extremist, armed with what appears to be a ketchup gun. It's gonna be one of those nights. So long, suckers! Parting is such sweet and sour sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Ah, the big bad bad guy. I knew you'd catch up to me sooner or later. How I've relished this meeting. You, the dynamic Dark Knight, versus me, the conceptual condiment king. Come, Batman. Let's see if you can cut the mustard. Oh, quiet. <sighs> you hit me. Now listen, mustard man, or whatever you call yourself. You're obviously new at this, so I'm willing to go easy on you, provided you give back the loot and never even think about doing this again. Deal? Horse rabbit! This is your last warning. Let's go, Pencil, you and me! I'm the Prince of Pickles, Sultan of Sauce! You don't stand a chance, you hear me? Later, chump! <laughs> man. He's that TV comic buddy Standler. Still no clues in the mystery behind comedian Buddy Standler's one-man crime spree last night. A rampage that ended with a trip to the hospital for the famed TV comic. Though Standler himself is unable to account for his actions, his manager had these observations. I don't get it. Buddy's just thrown his entire career away. Networks canceling his show and the restaurant suing him for a million dollars? Why'd he do it? It just doesn't make sense. That's too bad. I watch Stanler's show all the time. He's great. Any idea what would have caused him to go off the deep end? No. But talk about bad timing. He was supposed to be one of the judges for the annual laugh-off competition tonight. Alfred and I bought tickets. By the way, where is Alfred? One side, Mac. I beg your pardon. Ooh, pretty. I want it. Hey, you can't do that. Sure I can, lady. I'm the pack rat. And